Hey there, thank you for tuning in to get another one of my YouTube videos. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about 23 things that you don't know about the BMW M2 CS. And today, I'm wearing my M shirt, so you know I'm a professional, and this video is gonna be fantastic. If you put the car in first gear, give a little bit of gas, pop the clutch and floor it, this is what happens. <laughs> These wheels are very special, and not just because they're on the CS cars, but because of the way they're made. The way they're made is that the manufacturer takes a solid block of aluminum alloy and then mills it out into the shape of this wheel, which makes the wheel not only very strong, but also very lightweight. The M2 CS is the only CS car that displays CS right there on the dashboard. All other M CS cars just say either M3 or M4 without the CS. The BMW M2 CS is the only M2 to be offered with a carbon fiber roof, whereas all other M cars come standard with a carbon fiber roof. BMW is a German car brand. Their main factory is in Germany, which is really cool, and I'm gonna go there one day. But since it's a German car brand, you'd think that most of the parts would be made in Germany, but a lot of them are actually made elsewhere. For example, these brakes are made by Brembo in Italy. These wheels are made in Taiwan. The resonator on the exhaust system is made in the Czech Republic. A lot of the plastic pieces are made in Poland and the heat shields are mostly made in Switzerland. This is something you're never gonna see anywhere else. These heat shields are made in Switzerland, BMW stamp there, and that is the writing on them. I say mostly because even though all the heat shields are pretty much the exact same, I found one of them on the car was made in Portugal. The lip, which currently isn't on this M2CS, but will be back for the next video. This beautiful looking hood and the spoiler are all one-off parts made specifically for the BMW M2 CS. The roof and the center console are also one-offs and I wanna go into more detail on those, but before I do, I wanna talk about the spoiler. While it looks very similar to the M3 and M4 CS spoilers, it's a little bit different, it has the same ducktail shape, but the overall shape is slightly different with it being more rounded and it also kicks up higher. There are two really special things about this roof. The first thing is the weave. This is a one by one weave, whereas other carbon fiber, like on the mirrors and everywhere else, is a two by two weave. And also these two aggressive lines on the roof, which in my opinion look amazing, and they just add a whole nother level of depth to the car. This center console is the exact same as the one on the M3 CS and the M4 CS, with one very amazing difference. If you look closely at it, it's made entirely out of carbon fiber. It's literally one huge piece of carbon fiber and it's probably one of the most awesome things that BMW has ever done. And while it doesn't save a whole lot of weight, six pounds or 2.5 kilograms to be exact, just look at this, look how cool it looks. Beautiful wheels. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I just got a little distracted there. These wheels are not only beautiful, they're also really unique. Well. The setup of them is really unique. See, on the other CS cars, you have 19 inch wheels in the front and 20 inch wheels in the back. But on here, they're 19 in the front and 19 in the back. All CS cars have the 763M wheels, but they do come in different colors, the frozen gold, orbit gray, or gloss black. Sorry, jet black. The BMW M2 CS is the only M2 to come with adaptive suspension, meaning that you can either make the ride stiffer or softer based on your preference. And the way these work is actually very interesting. The oil in the coilover also has metal particles in it, and then there's also an electromagnet, which is controlled by these wires up here. And when the electromagnet is active, the suspension becomes a lot stiffer, and when it's not, it becomes a lot softer. It's a well-known fact that the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires are really grippy when they're warm, but when it's wet or cold outside, they really struggle for traction at times. So when specking the BMW M2 CS and also taking delivery of it, BMW gives you a little warning pamphlet saying to be cautious when driving in the wet or in cold conditions. When you start working on these cars yourself, you'll notice that BMW puts a lot of really cool Easter eggs. And one of them is that M2 is stamped on a bunch of these different body panels. Here are a few examples. The wheel well guard is stamped with M2. The heat shielding for the muffler is stamped with M2. The plastic oil cooler guard right here is stamped with M2. And I'm also guessing that the plastic shroud right here is stamped with M2 because on my car, the base model M2, it has a stamp on it. I'm sure it says M2 in a bunch of other places, but I just haven't found them yet. Something very interesting about the CS cars is that some of them are limited to a specific number, but then some of them, like the BMW M5 CS, will be made in an infinite amount as long as it's within a one year period. So for example, with the BMW M5 CS, if a million people order them this year, a million will be made even though it's a limited production car. The M2 CS is the only CS car to be offered with both manual and DCT transmissions. I'm sure you know about the carbon fiber GTS hood. Pretty much everyone knows about it, it's iconic. It's on the M3 CS, the M4 CS, and the M4 GTS. Well, the M2 CS also has a carbon fiber hood, but there's a few key differences. The first thing is the overall shape, it looks different. And the second thing is the hood vent. 
if you look here, the overall shape of the hood vent is different, and then also how the hood vent works is different. On the M GTS hood, the hood vent goes straight into the engine bay, but on here, as you saw earlier, there's carbon fiber and then there's a little grate. I'll show you the grate right now. And here is the grate that I was talking about. It's easily removable if you ever need to take leaves out of it. And there's also this cool silicone thing right here, which I'm guessing just rests upon this carbon fiber strut brace. Even though this is the M2CS, which is at the top of the M lineup, it uses a few parts from the base model 2 series, which can be seen right here. This is at the back of the car and it says right and also F22, F23, which is interesting. So I guess it's getting reused from the base model 2 series. And of course here it says left. The M3 and M4 CS all have white contrast stitching, but the M2 CS has red contrast stitching, which can be seen here, here, and here, and also here. But something very interesting is that the parking brake has black stitching. Last week, Daryl and I put a new Dynan exhaust on his car and it sounds amazing. I'll be putting a link to that video in the description below, but what I wanna talk about is the stock CS exhaust. The CS comes with a sports exhaust, which is very restrictive. It has the primary cats, it has the secondary cats, it has a huge resonator, and then it has a huge diaper muffler. And the reason I bring this up is because my M Performance exhaust was literally just a straight pipe from the primary cats all the way to a small titanium muffler. Another interesting thing about the CS exhaust is that it barely pops. And if you look on the forums or anywhere else, a lot of CS owners will be talking about this. The reason for this may be that the resonator is slightly larger than the M2 competition, but more so what I think it is, is that the engine tuning is slightly different to limit the pops down to an almost non-existent level. My best guess as to why BMW did this is possibly that the market for the M2CS doesn't really want loud pops. It might be too distracting on the racetrack. One other interesting thing about the exhaust is that it's machine welded. This carbon fiber hood is a lot lighter than the regular M hoods and because of that it needs special struts. If you look right there and right there, these are actually the struts from the M4 GTS which also has a carbon fiber hood. And the reason for this is that they have a lot less resistance than the regular M struts. Another interesting thing that BMW had to do because of the lighter hood is change the springs right here to have less resistance. So when the hood comes down, it clicks right here and then that's how it locks. And normally there's a lot more resistance, but because of the lighter hood, there's a lot less resistance on those springs. This feature isn't specific to the M2 CS, but it is really cool. So I'd like to cover it quickly. If you look right here, and also right here, those are brake ducts. And from the inside, you can choose whether you want them to be open or closed with a little screw. Auto journalists love to say this, and today I'm gonna join them. When you buy a CS car, you're paying a lot more for less. And here are two classic examples of it. There's no comfort access on here, and if you're wondering what that is, if you touch here, it locks the car, and if you touch here, it opens the car. And if you look here, where the safety feature panel normally is, there's nothing. And that's because there are no safety features optionable on here. That also brings us to one other interesting thing. This whole piece then is unique to the M2 CS. Daryl, look, there's an airplane. <laughs> if you saw last week's video of us installing the exhaust on Daryl's M2 CS, you'd understand that airplane reference. And something really interesting about last week's video is that it inspired this week's video. As the car was up on the hoist, I saw a bunch of cool things that I never saw before. And I decided why not make a video out of those and some other things about the M2 CS. Cool little fun fact, it says M Performance on the CS diffuser. And these exhaust tips are a little bit yellowish from the bottom. There's this little thing on the arm on the right side, but on the left side there isn't. Not attached to anything, I'm guessing it's a sensor, but it's pretty cool. It's also a barcode there. There's green paint on these exhaust flaps, which is the same kind of paint that was on my big brake kit when I bought it from M Performance. Uh, I guess it's just a way of marking the different parts. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, please leave a comment telling me what you thought was the most interesting part about the BMW M2 CS features. With that being said, I post every Thursday at 9 a.m., so I hope to see you next Thursday, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. The M2 CS also comes with a built-in vacuum cleaner, 